I'm now just uh, <clears throat> I'm just now figuring out whether I should make a run on ah, fuck it looking at my core fuck it we're gonna go I was tempted to go to Diamond City and go and buy an extra core but um, I reckon uh, fortune favours the stupid and reckless Let's just go to Hangman's Alley. Try not to fucking die. Let's have a quick look at perks. See if anything jumps out at us. Jumps out at us. Got to be gun nut. Um. <clears throat> the reason I just immediately went for gun nut there is because I want to get more stealth weapons, and I think I think rank three of gun nut will unlock the silencer will unlock the silencer for my hunting rifle which means that I'll get better sneak attacks and it will also make it easier to execute my settlers at the death camp that I've built. Because executing them with an unsilenced weapon is a bit hit and miss. Fuck me, there's a lot of gunplay around here. Right, I'm going to take a quick stock Take quick. Yeah, this. I'm going to take a quick stock of my weapons. Yeah, this 38 caliber, even in rifle configuration, yeah, this is fucking shit against anybody with armor. My pistol's okay if I can spam fire it. I'm fucking out of shotgun rounds. The sniper rifle's great, but. Not exactly the close quarter weapon of my dream, so I'm going to have to just wing it with this combat rifle and hope that I don't need more than 42 rounds. Which, and obviously I'm fucking dreaming. Not fucking, is that fucking Hangman's Alley? I think it is. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Right, I just hear gunfire fucking everywhere. Disappearing at Fuck me, she hit me fucking hard. I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to take a stim pack. And hope they fuck themselves up. <laughs> fuck me, this is not the plan. This is not going well. On survival, you gain, you regain your fucking health well slow. using a stealth boy but fucking nice if I had one right my vats accurately accuracy with this sniper rifle should be pretty fucking great no fucking grenades left only a fucking coward hides get lucky Thank you, Soul Reaper. So, man, I'm uh, 
I'm playing this super cautiously because I know if I <laughs> fucking die, I'm right back out of town. And I will lose. Come back, come back. Come back, you fucker. Show your face. Come on. I dare you. I think there's a fucking raider behind me as well, behind that fucking door. He can't get through. Come on, poke your fucking fat head round. You're still alive? Christ. Yeah. Some bastard right behind me. I'm not going to open that door in a fucking hurry. Nice. What the shit. Good enough, I guess. Right. Not quite what I had in mind, but... They're dead, I'm not. So fuck it. Yeah, we can pick through the bones of this in a minute. Most important part is... There you go. Oh, as Patrick says, and don't forget to remove your fusion core whenever you leave your power armour for some time. Yeah, absolutely. In the base, I try and be well behaved in, in my bases and never leave them with, with the fusion core plugged in. I, I tend to try and micromanage them a bit actually because uh, I don't know if this has been hot patched out but the whole thing with it taking like automatically taking one out of your invent a fusion core out of your inventory and all that shit you know you can end up with all of these like unstacking half used fusion cores so I tend to properly micromanage my fusion cores. For those of you who don't play Fallout 4, they're the the things that power your power armor. I am going to. I want to scrap these. Scrap these. I don't want to do too much scrapping with you guys on stream because this is a one of those boring jobs. I need to come back and do later. But I am going to. I don't want those uh, bodies to despawn. So I'm going to loot them up completely and stick and stick the crap in a cupboard so I get to keep all the crap so that when the bodies despawn that nice stuff doesn't just fucking vanish. Right and then I'm going to go and have a sleep so we can save the fucking progress. What do we got? <clears throat> Fuck me, they're worth a bit of cash actually, gamma guns. Nuka grenade. Gonna keep those short combat rifles. for my settlers when I eventually get some.
I tend to, uh, I don't know what you guys do, but I do have a bit of a tendency to keep combat, like there, keep that combat armor because I will <coughs> stick it on my settlers. The settlers, when your settlers and uh, provisioners get into scraps, scraps, they don't really tend to die. Um, but the better armoured they are, the more they actually stay on their feet and fight, as opposed to fall on their fucking arses and complain. So if you want to have successful base defences, it doesn't do any harm to spam up your guys so that they put up, do more damage and put up a better fight. And, you know, fuck it, it's a role-playing game after all. gonna quickly scrap some of this shit. It'll just fucking annoy me. I'm gonna leave that crap in place because once you delete it or once you deconstruct it you'll uh completely open this up and it's slightly harder to defend until you've got turrets in and which reminds me have I got any materials for a gun turret of course not I need oil which coincidentally so I've got this horrible feeling that hey. That dog meat is packing a load of crap. Yes, she's crap packing a load of crap that I didn't take off off her. What have we got? Pardon, just said I would just shoot the settlers that don't fight. That's a good plan in theory, but then they all turn hostile, and uh, <laughs> I've. Uh, I've experienced that before and it's a real it's just a real bore lake settling setting it all up again. Uh I wanna just get this shit out of my bag now. I wanna get this So you want to get this fucking sorted out so I can get out of this fucking power armor actually how much am I carrying 162 that's too much I'm making a noob mistake here for a somebody may have spotted but uh, let's get my yeah, don't fuck around it. Don't do what I just did there, which is fuck around in your base. Building, scrapping, or doing anything else like that with your power armor on. Because all of the time you're doing that, it's eating your your power supply. Fortunately, I realized what I was doing in time and got the fuck out of it. Anyway, let's not overdo this. I'm just going to see if there's anything else I can drop here so I can then go and lie down and save the game. <clears throat> Pardon said, oh well, damn. Yeah, I, I've i recently turned an entire base hostile, and I didn't think it was a big deal, but then, of course, because you don't... When it turns hostile, you effectively lose the base. So you're... Uh, whoever you've got... Whoever you've got doing the supply line, they also just go, oh, there's, that base doesn't ex isn't one of our bases anymore. So they then just fuck off, and then you've got to go and find them and set up your supply lines again and it's just oh, still just a lot of effort 
Right, well, I'm not going to tempt fate. My armor's actually in reasonable nick. If there's anything immediately tidy here. Right, I'm going to go and have a nap. I think that door's locked, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to leave it locked. Ooh, toilet. Nice. I think I'm going to build one decent bed, though. I'm not sleeping on that fucking piss-soaked mattress. Have enough of that at home. Um... dump this thing there is uh depending on how you play this game there can be quite a lot of inventory management but yeah it depends how you play it some people just like pile in with a gun don't build bases just do all of the missions and just say fuck it so it depends you know depends what type of player you want to be don't know if anyone here plays XCOM But I actually think I personally think the new the new XCOM actually uh, takes away a lot of the kind of stuff that I thought was actually fun about the original game. But then again, what the fuck do I know? I'm the guy who fucking loots absolutely everything in the wasteland. So let's build a fuck. Yeah, I've got some concrete. Where was it? There you go gonna chuck this here for now it's fucking ideal but I need a drink <coughs> yeah this is an interesting base this is an interesting base this is hangman's alley I haven't quite worked out where I'm going to put my supply lines, although there'll undoubtedly be one between Overland Station and Hangman's Alley. But yeah, this is handy because it's right in the middle of Boston. Uh, it's also you got to work, you got to box clever with this place because um, I don't know. If, I mean, I'm pretty sure this bug still exists, but you see the line of this barrier. Although your base extends all the way down there, apparently your, your settlers tend to do all sorts of weird shit and bug out past this point. So if you want them to, you know, go to the shops that you build to, for them or sleep in the beds you make for them, you don't want to basically extend it too far down here or they just basically won't go there. You can build up to a certain point. I think you've got like a four-story limit upwards. Um, so you can... I will probably end up building upwards in this base. Uh, the other issue that you have is often when you get attacked, the first thing you know about it, because eventually I will open that door, but the first thing you know about it is that they're in the base. They just stream into the base. Um, so I try and keep nothing essential at ground level because otherwise it just turns into an almighty cluster fuck of fire with your gun turrets friendly firing your own plants and all the rest of it and it just you know you end up shredding your own base Carpuzzi good evening mate thank you for joining us just discussing uh, Hangman's Alley and what it's like to build here but yeah for the exact same reason I will never use I will never use missile turrets to defend one of my own bases unless they are contained so that they can only fire in a very narrow direction because otherwise they will just, you know, if they could, if you just start randomly sticking missile turrets up, if if some fucker runs, you know, some uh, raider runs straight into your base, the turrets can all just turn around and, and let rip at the fucking raider and sh shred your base fucking shred you 
you want to be very careful about where you position your gun turret so that they provide decent protection but without you know without shooting up your own you know fucking equipment Carpuzzi, a question for you, if you don't mind. What the fuck are your keybinds in Division? Been trying to figure them out for ages now. Uh, may, I'll tell. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'm just curious why, because what have you seen that's made you think I had weird keybinds, which I do have. I use a very non-standard ASDF. Uh, with space bar for space bar for back pedal and it just basically means all of my keys for movement are under my fingers and s strafing left and right are just slightly above but it means sort of F, F and space are forward and backwards and then if I want to strafe I just move them to E and R Q and W are lean if it's a game that has lean and it just means that I never, ever have to move my my fingers. Like, or I should say, ninety percent of the time, everything I need for forward and back, jump, squat, or sprint, are actually under my fingers. So I, for a lot of the time, I don't even have to move my fingers at all. I really don't like WASDA, you know, the default WASDA settings, because you're constantly having to move your fingers to move around. YOLO signing off. Have a good stream, Mr. Killer Tunsa. YOLO, thank you very much for coming and saying hi, mate. I'll uh, hopefully get some of these bases in a little bit more of an advanced state, sir. And, uh... YOLO says, uh, time to grab some drinks. Work's been a bitch today. Mate, I'm never going to stand in between someone and their drinking. Have a good one, mate. I will uh, just allow that comment. Yeah, you take care, Yellow. Pardon says, Capuzzi says, yeah, I'm just so used to WASDA myself. Pardon says, I love uh, WASDA. I know someone that uses RDFG for movement. RDFG. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, I've, I know a lot of people like, Where's that? I, I've seen a few players. In fact, Worth a Buy, I think, was, he was talking about it. The YouTuber Worth a Buy, and he uses RDFG. Um, I, this, the, the way I do it, I've, I only ever met one other person who does it the way I do it, and they were actually the person who taught me to do it this way. Um, and once I started to do it this way, I just loved this system. I mean, to be honest, given the amount of time I've spent playing video games, it's probably the single biggest contributing factor to me not having our, having some kind of RS, um, repetitive strain syndrome. Um, because your fingers just literally have to press the key most of the time. I really only move them if I'm strafing or if I'm going to my inventory button or something. The only problem is, though... Different games have, different games have are better or worse at accommodating re, rebinded keys, and Fallout Four is fucking terrible. That's why when I go into build mode, you'll probably see that I only ever strafe left and I never strafe right, strafe right, because it, it the some of the buttons conflict. So you you know that's why you probably see me backing up a lot and doing other weird shit. I, I can't even consciously remember what I have to do now because I've got so used to it, but Fallout 4 does kind of dick you for rebinding. Uh, the division isn't too bad, but, you know, it does do a couple, you know, a couple of the rebinds that I've done mean that, for example, when I respawn in Last Stand, I end up opening up a, a, a chat line. So you might have seen footage of me playing last stand and whenever i respawn i'm kind of have to hit escape and that's why because it's I've, it's conflicting uh keybinds
God, Bootsy says, to be honest, if I tried to change from Wazda to anything else, I'd just spin around like armless trying to masturbate. I'm just too set in my habits, too old to change them. I think you'd get used to it if you absolutely had to. Rebinding, that is. Um, the weird thing is, though, on on other games, like uh, I play World of Tanks. In World of Tanks, I used Wazda for movement, and I never gave it a second thought. So when I'm playing World of Tanks and War Thunder, or vehicle-based games, I do w WASD. Um... Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, that's weird. I never even think about it in vehicle games. I just do it that way, and I'm used to it. Probably because in a probably because in a lot of a lot of games, like you know, say Destiny, when there's vehicle sections in a game, the vehicle movement defaults to WASD. So I, you know, I guess I'm I'm used to using it as such. But in first-person shooters, I would be the same. I, if I tried to play a first-person shooter using WASD, I'd be all over the fucking shop. Right, I've got to fucking decide what I'm going to do next. I didn't think this would be this successful, actually. Um, <clears throat> Lomenzi. How you doing, mate? He said WASD or get the fuck out. The GTFO. Right, I think... I am just going to go around the corner to Diamond City. I've got enough money to go and buy a fusion core. And let's buy another fusion core and then we can wander off and go and unlock another base. Luenzi says, I'm alright mate, how are you? Oh, I'm good mate, thank you mate. I, uh, I've just got to the point with this playthrough where I really needed to stream a bit. So I could advance the game. I'm going to quickly cook some food up. I really needed to stream a bit so I could advance the game. So I didn't get too ahead of myself. So I'm going on a, a bit of an exploration tip. And liberating some uh, bases from those... Uh, from those pesky settlers. <coughs> Carpucci says, how far are you in Fallout 4 now? Uh, in storyline, I mean. Well, this is a tricky one, I don't, Carpucci, because I'm, I'm basically trying to see if I can, see if I can, like, uh, basically play the game as a Wasteland pimp. So I'm actually avoiding doing any quests where possible, and I'm just building... Uh, titty bars and strip joints and brothels around the wasteland so I'm actually like level 25 uh, I've got these bases unlocked now and I've done f five quests <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> that's that was a a radiant quest that's a base defense that I couldn't avoid uh, report back to the settlers of Abernathy Farm. Ah, uh, I didn't actually do that. I murdered the people at Abernathy Farm, but because I have actually gone and investigating, investigated the... Actually, no. It completed that quest when I murdered them to give me the base. I did do that one. Killed some raiders. Defend Ten Pines Bluff. I literally was there and we got attacked and I killed them and then it said I completed that quest. So yeah, I've done five quests and two of them were automated base defences. Yeah, but I have literally avoided doing any quests. I haven't even been to Concord yet. I'm going to walk around the long way for reasons that will become clear another time. So yeah, I mean normally people would have headed into... Concord by now and done all of that shit but uh... yeah one of the most one of the most common criticisms of this game that I hear from people is they say that 
it's not a real RPG and it forces you to play the game a certain way and you've got no freedom and yada 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 and I just wanted to make a point that there's a million ways to play this game and to prove it I'm going to play through the entire game as a wasteland pimp avoid doing any fucking quests and basically pimp pimp my way to success so I've got f some fuck around here and I hope it's not very large super mutant it's going to be a very large fucking super mutant isn't it I'm going to go around the long way Yeah, I would. I would know. I have played this, played this game. I've racked up a few hours, Carpucci. Let's just put it that way. Right. Let's get fucking stuck in. I guess. Really hoping all of that gunfire we heard earlier was somebody else taking care of all of the fucking super mutants. So I'm a bit surprised actually that I've gone around that corner and I'm flagging up hostiles nearby. Because if they're all in place up here, there's quite a lot of fucking super mutants. I might even try and fucking skip them. Yeah, I must have had been flagging somebody else up then because yeah, this these are what this is what I was expecting to find, a bunch of fucking dead super mutants, and a Diamond City security guard. Lamenzi just said on my survival playthrough, as soon as I stepped out of the vault, I followed the edge of the map towards Far Harbor. That's interesting, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I never really thought, gave it much thought about why is dog meat shitting herself? I never really thought about doing that. I guess I kind of assumed. Who the fuck is that? Caravan guard. Um, there was a certain minimum, minimum level for doing the DLC is kind of t level 20 or something so I've never gone and done them that low level the scrapping is just fucking hard wire I would just say uh, I have not I have not finished Far Harbour I got very close to uh, the last quest and then started another playthrough. Lomenzi says you have to walk through a level 30 zone around the beach. That's tricky. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, there's, I'm trying to think of what's up there, but isn't there some pretty fucking hardcore goals? Here we have it, Diamond City. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in. My favorite companion. I'm sorry. <coughs> just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. You. You want into Diamond City, right? Fucking <laughs> 
Look at that fucking power armor. I colored this in myself earlier. I just got here, but... <clears throat> Pardon says, just doing my job. Mm, no one ever used that excuse. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win a fucking Oscar for that screenwriting, What's Pardon. That? I'll, uh, I'll agree with you there. Up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. <laughs> Patrick says my my armor looks a fucking mess. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. It's day. two different Another armor city. sets with an armor missing, painted in multi, in, in various different uh, armor colors. Although, admittedly, because you can only have certain. Uh... Piper, who let you back inside? You can only use certain color schemes of certain armors. Shot. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have Ooh, that printer scrapped for parts. Gunna? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatening <clears throat> to throw free speech in the dumpster. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No. No, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? I'm just gonna shut the fuck up while they're doing this, uh, this bit. I'm sure your city's a great place. <laughs> yeah, greatest house of cards in the Commonwealth. Until the wind blows. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Not really your business. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Right. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Now I can talk. Yes, Patrick, uh, although I'm avoiding any spoilers where possible, so yes, I do know, but no, I won't say. I have read a little bit about the lore, including some other characters as well. And uh, the discussion about whether Piper's cute or not. I actually think Piper's cute. Um, <laughs> I never got around to making a video, my video guide to the characters, but I actually found at first Piper wasn't my favourite companion, but she really grew on me. Uh, I think she's a decent companion and she doesn't get on the nerves whereas there's obviously another for those of you who have played um, thanks Patrick for those of you who played this game there's a certain other companion uh, uh, for some reason Vlamenzi that doesn't surprise me I don't know if you've seen my video on Kate but uh, <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I, that doesn't surprise me that you like you like Kate. I mean, there's no there's no deeper meaning there, but for some reason, it, yeah. There's obviously a certain other companion, female companion, who I know I know I know a lot of people who think she's really shit hot. Uh, and I even know a a a girl who thinks has got like a massive crush on her, but um. I'll just say her name, Curie. But I find she I find her slightly creepy. I find after a while I find I find her slightly creepy. There's something kind of Lolita esque about her. 
because she's a bit kind of like you got to remember that she's and fuck, I can't even discuss this without giving spoilers but yeah there's just something kind of immature about Kiri that's a little bit uncomfortable we got a free I really need to make the, I really need to make that video about about hey you're the new guy right so secure cleaning out another house the other day uh yeah. Just gonna see if this guy's got a fusion core. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. Let's see what you have. Don't forget to stock up on Yeah, we might have to avoid some of this conversation or we will get firmly into into spoiler territory. Uh I'm just gonna put my barter clothes on. And then try not to snap my legs while I do it. But yeah, human. And it's just a little bit... I don't know, I just found it a little bit creepy after a while. You know, that whole... Uh-huh. Oh, uh, don't bug out, game. Sure, let's take a look. Feel free to test the grips. Yeah, I think you know. I think you know what I'm saying. I can't. I don't. I don't really want to say much more because I don't want to give too much away. But there's just something a little bit sort of. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I love the quest line, and she's, you know, she's very pretty. But there's just something that's a little bit creepy about Curie and the way she's just kind of like. I don't know. Yeah, uh, it's very di it's very difficult to even discuss this without potentially face planting into a ton of spoilers. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a bit like it's a bit like having a companion that's going through fucking puberty following you around. Some of the sort of shit she says, it's just a bit like she felt like yeah, that's just. A bit weird. Carpeachy says, "Since when have you been against being creepy?" You, <laughs> I don't know. I, I know. <laughs> I always try to abide by the rules. <laughs> you know, don't do anything that's illegal in Texas. There's just, you know, there's just something a bit, you know, probably best summed up by the fact that it's some of the some of the times she'll be following you around saying stuff, and it is just a bit like. She's going through puberty just over your shoulder. Whereas with uh, whereas with Piper, I don't know, I just find she's more sassy and, you know, a grown-up. For want of a better word. Can I? No, I'm not going to disarm that. Right, well, I am loaded for bear. Protection for sale. i got my and fusion cores. Some Don't need a haircut because I'm already as pretty as need be. They believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying uh, you got in, and that's the boobs. You just gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. What have I doing? Fuck. They ban shotgun fucking rounds. Yeah, it's going going here. Get our head down. Save the game. Redeem, I need to talk. I don't think I'm giving too much away by saying that there is player housing here, but I can't remember whether there's a way to get it for free. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters, a mire lurk. A mire lurk. Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really I'm on, finished talking. Oh, I forgot you were there, Yakin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Yes, I need a room. All right, here's your money. You're in room two. Just That's why I've come into a bar and tried to ask you about a fucking room.
for those of you new to this uh, this playthrough. That's all the clothing I've got with the most amount of uh, charisma points on it. So that I look as pretty as possible. And uh, this is what I look like without the wig. Damn sexy. But yeah, that's, this is the clothing I put on when I'm bartering and shit like that. I'm actually going to put my combat clothing back on just in case I have to jump out in a hurry. There, I look slightly less fugly. Carpucci says, oh god damn, I wish three weeks would go fast, ordered a new gaming PC. And now I just need to wait. Oh, mate, I feel your pain. I hope it's uh, everything you want it to be when it comes, mate. Has anybody here ever spent, like, fucking ages? We need to have a conversation. Ages with these porter diners trying to get the fucking cake out of it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what yeah, I me hear, too. <laughs> you may Apparently, it, it, it. Oh man, I want to get out of this conversation. I don't mind danger so long as I get paid well enough. You I'm in great well danger paid. of accruing quests. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Yeah, I'm in great danger of racking up some quests while I'm here, so I'm going to get the fuck out of Dodge. I've got the supplies I need. Um, so we're going to work out. We're going to work out our route. Carpucci says, "Well, it better. It's an i7 eight seven thousand, sixteen gigs of DDR four RAM, GTX ten eighty, four eighty gigabyte SSD, one terabyte hard drive. Cost me goddamn near two k euro." Mate, that sounds very nice. Better graphics card than I've got. I was talking to Patrick earlier, actually, and I'm still running a 980i. That sounds great, mate. Flamengi says, still using an R9-280X. Is that a Radeon card? I've never used a Radeon card. Show me. Combat zone. Don't move! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a simp. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a simp! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. fucking break down, There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Wow, that is that is a serious death pose. But me being me, I'm going to loot him. That's the kind of guy I am. And put him in I a slightly more. Step slightly more dignified pose if that's possible whilst he's in my pants because I've stolen all of his stuff I'm going to get the fuck out of Dodge and get back up north and then go and unlock uh, another base in the north Capucci says I've got no idea how to compare GeForce cards how it compares to GeForce cards, me neither I've, I've ne never gone the Radeon route um, although I've got a mate who swears by them 
be honest, I'm probably a little bit overly... Rev I just kind of always go with NVIDIA cards because I do like the NVIDIA GeForce experience um, because I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to anything technological. So for me, you know, it's just kind of handy that it just automatically updates everything for me and holds my hand and I don't have to think. Which is possibly not the now best you attitude. Have the right but idea. There you go. Power on. Only way to travel. Flamengi says looking for a new card though, but the mining hype made buying a new GPU close to impossible. Mining? Sorry, man, I'm not from. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, I, as a general rule, try not to buy the absolute bleeding edge tech because you kind of get sort of uh, diminishing returns on your value for money if it's like absolutely the most brand newest most spanky thing out there so I tend to be a bit of a Luddite and hang back a little bit to try and get that value for money but that can bite you in the arse sometimes right I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of these guys crap I'm gonna pop it round to the base Uh, dump it off at Hangman's. Do my best to try and persuade you guys. Don't go and attack them. Fuck it, let's get out of here, dog. Yeah, try, try my best to convince you that I'm not fucking OCD napping. And then we're going to get back up north and I'm going to go and fucking unlock a new base. Where the fuck are these guys? Carpucci says he's talking about the Bitcoin mining. Vlamenzi says not just Bitcoin, also other mining currencies. Carpucci, which has caused shortages, caused shortage on GFX cards. I'm completely unfamiliar with this, but that's going to be my reading homework, I think, uh, after the stream. And now I'm regretting not unlocking that door. Fuck it. Right, I am. Come on, fucking burn. Right, that might not make sense, but at some point that fucking thing will go up anyway. And it's better for you. It's better that any anything close to a base like that, I would just set fire to, like do a control burn on it, because otherwise, at some point you'll have a raid on your base and it will blow up when you don't want it to blow up, and that's not good. So better to have a uh, what's the word? Control detonation. This shit. Right, let's watch that blow up. And then we can head north. Yeah, I'll read about this after this. There you go. Yeah, with any, any, I tend to 
detonate any car close to my fucking bases or base entrances because otherwise at some point you'll be defending your base against an attack and you'll be standing next to the fucking thing and it'll blow sky high. <laughs> 